I think when we went to the largest test tank facility in the world at Kinetic in Hasler, that was just an amazing experience. There's not a billion pictures of Kinetic online because it's a pretty secret place, so you don't even know what to expect when you get there. It was a frantic, frantic exercise to try and get three boats ready. And then you're like, Yahoo, this is the biggest swimming pool ever. Why didn't I bring my swimming kit? <laughs> For old gits like me, it's 400 feet by 200 feet by 18 feet. Holds approximately 9 million gallons of water. In which we test ship submarine models, primarily, but any, any vehicle that can go into the maritime environment, we will test in here. I, I honestly expected that from the visit to Kinetic that we would spend most of our time fishing bits out of the bottom of the, uh, of the pond. So we bought three boats with us today to test out. So we've experimented with 3D printing, we've added foam into it, we've put metal girders to try and get the ballast right. Despite some of you know, the boats being up at the 50 kilogram type weight, that they could be dropped from you know, a significant height into the water and stay in one piece. The steering is not very good. You can get up to about five knots on this prototype probably not much faster actually when we get onto the ocean because with all the waves and the swells. At the far end of the tank there's a bank of wave makers. They can all be individually controlled. They allow us to create any sea state that can be found in the, in the world today. So not only have we got a really big area here to drive the boats around, but it can also create the sea states that we're going to see on the ocean. So we can create some really nice waves and try and flip our boat over and see whether it's going to come back up and not sink. Here we go. It was good to see that the boat that we had could make headway across quite large waves. You know, the rescue boat was slamming up and down and, and everywhere, whereas ours was actually uh, making quite significant headway across the waves. So that was good. From an engineering perspective, we've tried very hard to break them today as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, to be honest, we're surprised they haven't broken. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I think it's totally exceeded um, our expectations in terms of all three boats working. So um, we don't need to worry about that anymore. We can focus on making it easier to build the final version. I think we, we've got some motor arrangements to look at and, and some steering to look at and, mm. um, and we probably want to work on some of the uh, prop dynamics to get it a bit faster in the water. The propulsion um, was mediocre. It, it, would, it, it was making its way across some very strong waves in a sinus rhythm that was very tight and uh, the steering. The, the steering was just a million miles away from where it needed to be. What, what else have we done today? Well, yeah. <laughs> I think we've discovered, for example, <laughs> rudder. The rudder wasn't yeah, big enough. The, the rudder wasn't <laughs> big enough. Got a long way in. We've learned a lot from the process and I think we're pretty much ready to now take what we've learned today. And now that we've done that, we can take that away with us. We can get that final design done and we can get in the ocean and see what happens next.